What up campers? This week we're upgrading the battery bank and installing a sweet new battery box on the tongue of the trailer. This should be a fun one. So we already had two 232 amp hour golf cart batteries installed. We're doubling that now to have 464 amp hours. We got two of the exact same batteries and we're gonna throw them all on the front of the trailer in this new torque lift uh, five battery battery box. Typically you're not supposed to mix batteries of different ages, but the golf cart batteries that we already had were almost brand new, but uh, feel pretty good about it. First things first, here's all the supplies that you're gonna need to get this job done. I'll put a link in the description below to all this stuff that we used. Basically we've got our torque lift battery box here and then these are all the goodies that you're going to need to uh, to get it installed. We've got our two gauge wire, a drill to uh, fix the box to the front of the trailer, wire cutter and crimpers for that two watt wire, copper post connections and we've got some heat shrink tubing and then obviously uh, the heat gun. Okay so the first thing we need to do is get this Torflex box opened up and then we're gonna go ahead and yank off the existing batteries off the tongue and start the box insulation. Okay so this is the Torflex box all unpacked thing is really good looking unfortunately uh, it wasn't cheap so I was really on the fence about getting this and spending so much money but uh, we decided to bite the bullet so inside the torque lift box you have these metal dividers a bunch of self-tapping screws the instructions but it comes with this little um, pad that goes under your batteries to I guess keep them from moving around and also absorb any potential leaks We're back. The Amazon gods came through with the parts that we needed. Let me show you. Two things that I didn't have in the stuff that I showed you before that I need. The first one is this guy. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. So there's two different ways that they let you um, mount the box to the frame depending on what kind of frame you have. If you have an open C channel, they just give you some bolts uh, that you can drop through put a nut on the other end. Ours is actually a, a full closed tube, so they give you a set of self-tapping screws. And so uh, for those, I didn't have the socket attachment for my drill. All right, this Blue Jay's killing me. I'm gonna go grab my BB gun, I'll be right back. Okay, and then the second thing, which I didn't know I needed until I started trying to get everything lined up and just dry fit, was uh, a longer positive lead. So, because I'm gonna have the four batteries in series, yeah, but because we have the four in series all lengthwise, the connection from the trailer to the positive post on the battery is actually gonna be too long now for the cable that came with the trailer. It's only about two feet long. So I went and had to pick up a four footer. I didn't know that until I was getting in there and again trying to dry fit, but something to keep in mind just in case, depending on um, where that positive runs into the trailer. Okay, so we got the old battery boxes pulled off. I've got all the wiring set aside. Now we're gonna go ahead and swap out those positive leads. It comes with this little acid mat that you put underneath the batteries. But as you can see, there's little notches for all of these straps. Go ahead and dry fit the batteries uh, where we want them to be oriented the right way. So we're gonna go ahead and cut slits in all the places that we need the straps to be able to come through to strap down the battery.
All right, so now that we got those battery slits cut for the straps, we're gonna take all the batteries out and then we're gonna move the box over onto the tongue of the trailer so that we can go ahead and use those self-tapping screws and get it attached. battery box is on it's pretty easy I guess it, uh, my recommendation there is just to do you know as they say measure twice cut once yeah that's all done so what we're gonna do now is pop all the batteries back in and start wiring them first in series to link a pair of batteries together and then in parallel to link the two sets together All right, so let's talk about series parallel configuration for a minute. Um, these are golf cart batteries, so they're six volt batteries. And our trailer is obviously uh, 12 volt, right? It's a 12 volt system. And so what you need to do is put two batteries, two six volt batteries together in series uh, to make one big 12 volt battery that can then feed uh, the system. And then we're gonna have two of those pairs. So I'm not an electrical expert, but the way series parallel works is that when you put batteries together in series, uh, you double the volts and the amps stay the exact same. So in our case, it's gonna be a 12 volt, right? Two, six plus six, 232 amp hour um, series set. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other two. And that will be another 12 volt, 232 amp hour um, battery, quote unquote. And so in order to do that, what we do is on the first pair, we take the uh, positive post on one battery and connect it to the negative post on the other. And that becomes uh, one 12 volt battery wired in series. And then from there, we do the same on the other side. And then we take the open terminals of the positive on the first set um, and connect it to the positive on the other set. That becomes a parallel connection. And same thing, negative on the first set to the negative uh, on the second set. And then the coach power comes into the kind of, you know, lonely or the, the positive post that has only just the positive to positive on the one set. The negative goes on the far opposite negative post so that the um, current is being drawn across the entire bank of batteries. Because ultimately that's what our coach needs is, is the 12 volts. So get one pair up to 12, the other pair up to 12, and then we're just joining them together. That's what we're doing at the end of the day. I am going to make uh, all brand new cables so that they have exactly the same two gauge cable uh, connecting everything. So I showed you the diagram, but I'll go ahead and uh, make all of those individual lengths of cable, get them all connected, and we'll show you the actual setup once it's wired in that kind of series parallel. We did it. We got them all wired up in series parallel. So we have uh, two sets of six volt batteries working together in, as 12 volts uh, running in parallel to feed my system. So we have effectively doubled the power to the coach from 232 amp hours to 464. These are just straight up flooded lead acid. So you don't want to take them down below 50%, but now we have 232 usable amp hours. So uh, we're ready to do some serious 
serious boondocking. Overall, I'm super happy with this Power Armor uh, battery box. It's super nice. The quality is great. I'm pumped to just have the peace of mind that everything's kind of in there safe and secure and has the locking mechanism, which is just a nice added bonus for when we are boondocking. It was really <laughs> expensive, honestly. I am over the price. I think they're charging way too much for this thing, but uh, for what it is, I'm happy with the quality of, of the product and I kind of bit the bullet and gave them all my money. The other thing is because these are flooded lead acid batteries, we do have to service our batteries every couple of months. And so for me, this is gonna be a huge improvement over just the two uh, kind of Norco boxes that we had before, which were strapped down. You have to undo that strap and take off the lid, service each battery, put everything back on. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. This one, you'll just be able to lift the lid up, um, you know, go down the line and service each battery and lock it back up. And so I'm super looking forward to that. The other thing is, uh, as I mentioned, this is step one basically of a bigger solar install. So the next step will be to get the solar panels up on the roof, bring those down uh, into an MPPT charge controller and into the batteries, and then working that in with a inverter, a smart charger, uh, a pre-wired transfer switch, so that that way we can run everything on battery power if we need to down the line. So uh, again, lots more boondocking in our future, but this gets us halfway there. Probably not financially, um, but in terms of you know getting that battery bank upgraded first, then we'll do the solar up on the roof second and get all those goodies. But man, looking into the solar stuff, it is not cheap to get the charge controller, the panels, to get the smart uh, charger, the pre-wired transfer switch, that's all gonna be uh, about 1500 bucks. And so the boss is cracking down on me for now, but again, we're getting halfway there and that will be uh, coming down the road. So stay tuned. That's a wrap for the uh, Torque Lift Power Armor Battery Box install. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. My neighbors have been walking by the whole time as I'm recording this. Uh, I'm making myself look like that crazy guy talking to myself in my driveway because I'm gonna have the four batteries in series. Yeah, Tweety's about to die.